Okay, the tutorial I'm doing this evening um, requires a camera, digital camera, 3D glasses, and a program like Photoshop. Um, so what I'm going to basically do is show you how to create a 3D image. So in this case it's 3D Anaglyph is what it's called. You'll, you might remember some of this from the Mars Pathfinder missions or you know games that you buy or um, movies Shark Boy and Lava Girl or Spy Kids 3D things like that have the anaglyph thing and really it's easy you just take two pictures put it in Photoshop and it's a few easy steps here's a black and white here's a color and if you have your 3D glasses on um, hopefully it'll come through in the video the images actually look 3D so I hope you enjoy it Okay, one of the first things you're going to need to do this project is a pair of 3D glasses. Now obviously your glasses are probably not going to look like this. I'm a geek and I have this kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, you can get 3D glasses online. There are lots of places to get free 3D glasses. Sometimes you'll get them in a video or in a comic book or in a pack of trading cards. But as long as the right lens is blue and the left lens is red, so those are that's a pair of 3D glasses. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to take two pictures. One is going to be the left eye and one is going to be the right eye. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose something in the very center of the picture. Let's, for example, that white rose. You know, notice I have my flash turned off. And I'm going to take a picture. And I'm going to move my camera about two inches to the right and take another picture with the rose center. Okay, so I have two pictures now that I can use to make my 3D image. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is import my two pictures that I took for my 3D image. And I just grabbed them both and dragged them in. And you'll remember I took the first one on the left and the second one on the right. Okay, so the first one is here, the second one is here, and they look fairly identical. Um, hopefully when we put them together as images you'll be able to see um, that they're slightly different. See how this one's four, 492 and this one's 493? That's how I remember the first one I took was the left and the second one I took was the right. That's how I knew the difference between the two. Okay, for this tutorial, I think I'm going to do a grayscale because the grayscale um, 3D images tend to come out a little bit better, for especially for your first time. So I'm going to convert these both to grayscale. Okay, and I'm going to go image mode grayscale on this one. Okay, and you may even want to do, you know, the auto contrast, bring out a little bit more black. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is back here on the left image, I'm going to go to image mode RGB color. Okay, I'm taking that back to RGB color because we're going to work with the red and the blue channels, and without RGB on, we won't have those channels. Okay, so in fact, if I was to click on channels here, you'll see I've got RGB, red, green, and blue, which is RGB, red, green, blue. All right, if you don't have that window, you can go to window and turn channels on here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to jump back over here to my right image, and I kind of keep that one just a little bit to the right, so I remember that that's my right image. Okay, and I'm going to do a control A and copy, because I want to just copy this whole image because I'm going to go back over here and paste it in, but not yet. What I want to do first is I want to select the green and blue channels. I'm going to select green and hold shift and click blue. So I have those selected. Okay, so now if I paste, it should paste just into these two channels. Okay, so you see it kind of adjusted a little bit. If I was to go back here to the RGB channel, you'll see how I have this red and blue kind of color. Okay, that means we're on our way to a 3D image. Okay, so to fine tune this, I'm going to click on my red channel because I want to be able to shift my channel to the side, but I want to be able to see all of the other channels too. So I'm going to click the little eyeball here next to the RGB. Okay, so now if I use my arrow tool, I can adjust my red and blue back and forth. And you'll see a little bit of border and stuff over here and that's fine. Um, so what we want to do now is put on our 3D glasses and then we're going to adjust our image to make it pop in 3D. 
Okay, so I have my glasses on, and if I kind of pull it, you'll see things get a little blurry or they'll get a little bit clearer. And I'm going to go ahead and get it to where I think it looks good, and then I'm going to stop. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to take my tool here. Let me deselect first. And I have to take my glasses off to be able to see where I'm clicking here. And what I want to do is I'm going to crop an area of the picture out. Okay, so I'm going to select that area and I'm going to do image crop. All right, so now my image should be pretty clear in 3D. All right, and it'll be a black and white 3D, but uh, I think you're going to see it's it's pretty surprising how good it looks. All right, so I'm going to file save as and I'm going to save it to my desktop as 3D picture. All right, and okay, I think I'm all set. And so that's basically how you create yourself a black and white 3D. All right, now I'm going to use the same images but I'm going to leave them in color. All right, so I'm going to drag those two images back over. <laughs> Take my glasses off so I can see again. And again, the first one is on the left, the second one is on the right. So I'm going to start with just selecting all and copying the right image, the second image. And I'm going to go back over here to my left image. And again, I'm going to go into just green and blue and you'll see it looks a little different than the one we did before and I'm gonna do a paste okay then I'm gonna click just on the red layer and then turn on all colors and again I'm going to fine-tune with my arrow key until this looks 3D and basically what I try to do is I try to look at the image first and line the colors all up so it looks about as clear as it can be and then I move it just slightly so that we get the colors skewed a little bit and actually if you pick on what you had in the center like for example I was using the rose to center on if you match the colors up perfectly with that usually you can get a pretty good 3D image and so I'm hoping that the 3D color will come out in the video here um, so I'm going to go ahead and crop this all right, image, crop, and I'm going to save this as 3D Pictures 2. Okay. All right, so that's doing a 3D image in black and white and in color. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.